I'm Dan Johnson talking to Nick Otterback. Now you know Nick Otterback because of this handsome airplane we're standing in front of. This is the Lightning. There are some variations on that, a kit-built two-place, an LSA, now a higher performance kit-built version. A whole line of Lightning aircraft that uh, we know and love. But that's not why we're talking to Nick today. There's a couple of new things going on here besides this handsome aircraft. It involves this engine. Yes, sir. Who is representing it and what this engine is all about. So let's start off with the change of representation now. Yes. You had a retirement recently. We did. Um, Pete, uh, Pete Karate, as most of you know from Jabber North America, uh, gave us 20 wonderful years of service to Jabber customers Thank in the you, U.S. Pete. And um, uh, he uh, decided it was time to retire and enjoy life. And uh, although he's here this week enjoying Oshkosh, he is uh, <laughs> he's getting, enjoying it in a new way. Yes, he's getting to look at airplanes. So um, it, it worked out well for us to um, take over the engine side of the business, okay. the, the sales of the engine, the support of the parts, the overhauls, maintenance, anything to do with uh, uh, you know the engine service side. So we we've taken that over. Scott from uh, Texas has taken over the aircraft side of things, but uh, we support the engine. So we're in Shelbyville, Tennessee. We're same facilities as Pete was, and it was a pretty natural transition. Being that uh, we're already home builders, we're, we already know home builders, we already uh, understand what they need to do, what they want, and how they speak, and uh, it worked out real well for us. And I, I think it'll work out in the future. Sure. Let's give a quick nod to uh, Scott Severn of U.S. Sport Planes. Mm -hmm. He is representing the aircraft. Yes. Uh, well, the, the engines come with the aircraft, yep. so he's, in that sense he's representing engines too, but he's mainly focused on the sale of, of whole airplanes. Yes. You are now focused in addition to your lightning project, uh, you're focused on the support of the engine and the sales of the engine, yes. correct? Yep. So yep. if somebody wants a Jabiru two or uh, six cylinder, four or six cylinder, yep. you're the guy they're going to be yes. talking to now. Yes. If at they, your same lightning Fly lightning address, dot so. net. Yep. Same okay, address, great. same facility. Um, we sell them the engines. If, they, if they're if they an existing customer, we can support parts. Um, if they've got a thousand hours on one and they need a top end overall or two thousand hours and need a major, comes to our facility and uh, we have very highly qualified AMPs on staff to take care of that are uh, that have been around for a long time with the Jabber uh, existing uh, existing uh, employees that were mine and uh, carryovers over from Jabber's uh, side as well. So. Okay, great. So you got all the expertise. You have the tools. You have yes. the facilities. Everything you need. Then, and you're located in Shelbyville, Tennessee, which is reasonably central to the whole country. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. We can pretty much service everything to the Rockies really, really easily. Um, but we have engines and stuff shipped in everywhere and of course, you know, with the, the phone and the internet these days, we, we're not very far away from anybody. So. You're everywhere, you're <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I got that. Okay, and the uh, uh, the engine now has changed a little bit too. I, I'm told that this is one of the new Gen 4s. Yes, is that correct, Yes, Nick? sir. This is a Gen 4 2200. Um, the 3300s, uh, we had none in stock. They were all at the customers. This one actually is going to a customer. So. Okay. Um, but the, the Gen 4 has changed significantly, although it looks like a Jabiru at heart. Um, the valve training and the rotating assembly and everything inside is, is very much what we would like to you know, come used used to using um, the engine is completely different on the outside. So it's just an improvement for the user. You know, the guy that uh, wants to put fuel in it and fly it and change the oil. That's where we come now. You know, before we used torque heads and adjust valves and things. Um, this engine, everything is cast. It's a complete cast engine. Oh, There's no okay. build parts on it anymore. Oh. Um, the yeah, cylinders. That's a pretty major change for oh, them. Then. It's a huge change. Um, yeah. And so now we we used to talk about aluminum heads and steel barrels, dissimilar metals and head torques. Now you have a a barrel. It's a cast barrel and a cast head that are screwed together, very similar to legacy piston engines like like Lycoming Continental. Is that so right? there's there's no head torques anymore. It's one piece. It's done during the manufacturing process. Oh, I see. Uh, all that is done, but yeah. it's done at the factory. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't do anything oh, with yeah, it, but yeah. th that eliminates head torques for the customer, which was one of the big you know gripes. So guys, I got to torque my heads every so often. I got to watch that. No longer no the more, case. Huh? Um, so much more user friendly in yes, a sense. Then. Yes. We, um, the crankshaft is no longer a billet crankshaft. It is a forged crankshaft. And anybody knows there any kind of engine knows that a forged crankshaft is stout they're durable they're they and not that we had any issues with the crankshafts before but but as they changed manufacturing they decided to go a, ah, I a see. forged crankshaft because they were those. making some of these other changes yep. that was one that got on the list of well yep. we can make it even better this way absolutely i absolutely. see okay um other than that a this power 
power output of this in the six cylinder changes or is the uh, same? We're noticing a little bit better power output. And yeah. The only reason we know that is because we can run a little bit more prop on the engines. Huh? Um, well, that's a pretty valid so, measurement. Yeah, so you know, when we can run a little more prop, we know they must be putting out a little bit more power than they used to. So okay. um, they, they idle real great, real smooth, just like the Jabber always used to. Yeah, and, um, sewing machines. So, smooth, boy. Yeah, it's, I mean, especially the six cylinder is incredible. Yeah. It, it, you, if you got a you know, got an ANR headset on, it's hard to tell it's running in flight. So. <laughs> yes, I've experienced that. That's not just the vendor talking. That's been my experience too, the six cylinder in particular. But this one's very good too. Oh, uh, very smooth good. running engines. Yep. And for those that don't know the Jabiru engine, and maybe do know the Rotax, which is so common, Rotax runs at you know 5,000 RPM or thereabouts. This does not. No, this is not. Give me some of the numbers about a, a it. A typical RPM band is somewhere maybe between 2700 and 2900 with 2850-ish uh, mm -hmm. being around 75% power. Okay. So, um, That's you know, a that, number very similar to the Continental Lycoming guys. A yeah, little bit higher. A little but, bit higher, but not much. It's what you normally expect from a direct drive engine. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. And that saves you then. You don't have to have that reduction gear. Yep, no gearbox. That's a great option yep. for the guys at Rotax. Work for them, but you don't oh, need yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I mean, and they, like I said, engines are engines, and they all have their quirks, and they all have their differences, and they all... I mean, it's certainly a very proven engine in the Rotax, and then the Jabiru has proven to be a very good engine too. How many so. are there flying? Do you know the number, Nick, or approximate uh, yeah. number of all you Jabiru know, engines? Unfortunately, uh, um, Pete would be the It's like <laughs> thousands, uh, though. Oh, gosh, yes. I, I, I want to say like 7,000 There's or something some like 7,000. Like I don't know the exact number. Um, I know how many of each have been delivered, and it's in that range. It's yeah, in that so, 7,000. So it's a lot engine. is the yeah, point. Oh, this gosh, is yes. a well-proven engine, yeah. now upgraded to Gen 4, you call it, yes, Generation Gen 4. 4. Generation 4, we've been shipping them since November of 17. Oh, have you? Okay. Yep. Um, you know, in fact, I had two arrive this week uh, that are going out the door to new customers, and there's, you know, about two weeks coming in with that, so. Well, that brings up my next question very nicely then, because I was going to say, okay, if I decide, hey, this 80-some uh, uh, horsepower, I'll call it 2200cc uh, four-cylinder mm -hmm. engine, yep. or the 3300, approximately 120 horsepower yes. engine, if I decide one of those is the right engine for me, yep. How fast would you say you could get well, one to We're me? telling people about eight weeks. Okay, that's um, it's pretty, which quick. Is pretty reasonable, I think. Yeah. Um, so you must have a supply of these coming in then. Yes. You're yeah. not just saying, you want one? Okay, let me order. No, no, we, we have a standing order for engines. Okay, Nick, I've asked you a lot of questions, but I got one more. Let's right. talk about fuel. Sure. What yep. fuel can you use in uh, either of the two engines? 100 low lead or, or mo gas. Can uh, you mix them? Yeah, I mean, we've done that before in the past okay, so without any problems. So 91, you know, they call it, I think it's 95 RON Australia, which is 91 octane here in the States, okay. or 100 low lead. Okay. Absolutely. Or mix them as you like. So or mix them. Pretty much you can get fuel where you need to get yes, fuel. Sir. Absolutely. Okay, great. All right, well, I've, I've peppered you with about as many questions as I can think up now. So for those that want a little more, where can we send them on the web to learn more about Gen 4? Jabiru engines. Uh, Flylightning.net. There you go. Yep. And you can find more about the engines and this aircraft and the Jabiru airplanes and many more in the affordable aviation space on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Nick Otterback and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh.